welcome back to another episode of conan exiles today is preparation day for the dungeons really it's a little bit of a cleanup day too honestly there's just a couple of different things that i need to do here at the base in order to get ready for that I feel more prepared than what i was because i was mainly focusing on just farming up some stuff gaining some levels that way taking on a thrall here and there that kind of stuff but no more no more are we doing that today we are going to make some advancements i also finished up if you remember in the last episode i finally got some brimstone so i was able to start making some steel fire with the tar that i had gathered up yeah it's exciting i also want to remind you guys if you like what you see and you want to see more of it be sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications if you want to know when new content is out so without further ado let's take a look Let's get the UI. <laughs> and let's see what I've already crafted up. Okay, so first things first, I really need to get a thrall. At least a fighter thrall. There's a couple of thralls that I've seen around here at the Dofari camp over to my west. And also, there's a couple of thralls in the Oasis that actually aren't half bad. Now, I'm probably not going to be taking these thralls with me unless I find one that's really good. Highly unlikely, but... I still need to have something. There's a couple of named thralls here. They're really low level, I think. I mean, they're down in the Oasis. They can't be that good. But I have seen a couple of, like, Tier 3 Carpenters and one Tier 3 Blacksmith. I know it's kind of random, but they were still down here. So, I might as well take advantage of that. Let's go ahead and place the Lesser Wheel of Pain. Also need the Torturer's Workbench. I think I'm probably going to put that in here somewhere. Let's see uh you know what let's see what it actually looks like outside i i like placing my <laughs> my stations a little bit nicer than this usually but uh you know we are kind of limited with the build and i didn't really want to expand down here since i will be moving eventually i was thinking however that there's a sandstorm coming uh once again but now that i have steel i have a sandstorm mask which is awesome so i can stand out here and not take any damage oh yeah come to papa Come on. I dare you. You know, this thing is so majestic looking. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Let's go first person. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Come on. I dare you. Ah, it gets so grainy and ugly. <laughs> Let's go back inside for just a minute. Just because that is, that is horrible looking. And for whatever reason, you know, you would think... With having the shelter buff, then my cape and my hair wouldn't be glitching out like that. But, uh, I guess that's not a thing. I guess it doesn't matter what I do on the inside. <laughs> it's still gonna happen during the sandstorm. I can't wait to get out of that. So, another crafting station that I was actually really wanting to do is the dismantling. Now, I have the counter dismantling, and then here's the dismantling bench. So, maybe I need to learn it. I have gained a couple of levels since last time as well, so maybe I just haven't unlocked it yet. Oh, here we go. Dismantling bench. Boom. Awesome. I don't know why it's not showing up. Okay, I'm sure it will populate in just a second. Is there anything else that I can go ahead and do weapon-wise? So I went ahead and upgraded to the Sumerian Battle Axe. It does 33 damage. That's pretty good. I'm really wanting to get to this ancient kopesh that's two more levels we might be able to get to it today i'm not really sure i might do some grinding here and there i know john said something about he might be able to give me a weapon one of his lower level weapons something like that that would be pretty good there's also the steel throwing axe which only costs four and i know i can combine that but i want with uh with the sumerian battle axe and that'll be pretty good it's a nice little spin attack i could also do the ancient daggers now which is health damage of 29 what is the health damage of the steel poniards? Those are 24. So these would technically be better. But I also want to watch my my feet points. And I don't want to use too many of them up. So I don't know. We'll see. I might play around with that a little bit. I actually have crafted up quite a bit of the health arrows. The healing arrows. Which do an AoE like I was talking about in the last episode. So that's pretty neat. I've also got the jouster. We'll check that out when we do a little bit of exploring today. It's okay. It's not horrible. Uh, with the horse hitting them and the jouster, with the lance, I should say, it pretty much mows through thr uh, thralls pretty quickly, which is awesome. Sometimes it's one hit. Sometimes it's like two, but it gets all, all the way down to like 
one hit for my axe and they're done, which is great. So I'm really liking that. Uh, let's see, under survival. I could do the pickaxe. I don't really like the pickaxe. I know it takes up less space in your inventory and less weight and stuff like that. But if I'm remembering correctly, it doesn't give me everything that I was getting before. Like, I don't think it gives me bark from trees like a normal pick would. Um, but it is kind of a multi-tool. Well, again, I want to save the points because I'm not that far away from level 50. I mean, I kind of am, but I'm kind of not. I, I can make do with the steel tools. We've also got the preservation box, which I'm not going to be able to do right now because I'm not even remotely close to ice. We've got the stove. We should probably go ahead and get that going as well so I can cook more fish at a time. Some armor. Ah, yes. Okay, so part of the dungeon run, I don't know where we're going, but I definitely need to get some cold weather gear. Now, my assassin set does give me a cold buff, right? Yes, it does. So that's better off in the cold. Um, however, <laughs> it's super light armor. So I'm thinking I want to go ahead and learn the Nordheimer armors so I can get that. But that's either going to require fur or thick hide for the heavier stuff. So I'm going to have to go grab that at some point today. And I can't remember exactly what gives me thick hide. I know a lot of the stuff up north does. A lot of the harder things. There are some rhinos over by my... Uh, by my iron run area so that might we might have to try and take one of those on need to bring a bow and some arrows and stuff like that that should be pretty fun i also need to start learning religion or i need to grab some aloe soup which i gotta go learn the recipe up north somewhere i might do that off camera i'm not 100 percent sure i've done it before but we'll see we'll get to all of that in just a little bit let's see what it's going to take to do the dismantling bench i should have plenty of materials okay Dismantling bench, 100 steel bars, holy! A workbench equipped for dismantling armors and weapons. So, does it give me all of the materials back? I feel like that's not the case. I mean, I've got quite a few items in here that I'm just not using. So, maybe it'll be helpful? <laughs> I don't know if I want to burn 100 steel bars. I've got 500 right now. Which is a decent amount. It's nowhere near where I've been before. But still. Ah, good God. Oh, uh, we're doing it. I'm making the decision. We are doing it. So 100 of those. I've got plenty of bricks, so that's not a big deal. Okay, and then what else would it, did it take? I think it took some insulated wood. Let's just grab all of that and see if we can build one. M-A-N. If I spelt it right, that would be helpful. Here we go. 150. <laughs> Ugh, yikes. Okay. I'm. Ah, uh, this hurts. <laughs> this hurts. But I guess once I get some thralls, if I'm able to get maybe a smelter, which I haven't seen one down here, so even if it's like a level two, I'll take it. But we'll see. That that'll make it a little bit less painful. But I don't know. We'll <laughs> we'll get to that in just a little bit. Okay, so dismantling bench is pretty cool looking, actually. I think I might stick it over here in between these two. It's not the best in the world, but hey, you know, I should be able to pick this thing up, too. Um, Do I have room? I could move that. Oh, uh, that's too close to the carpenter's bench. Okay, let's just place it down and see what it does. Because if it's pretty helpful, then I don't mind. There's also the countertop version as well, but I kind of like the full one of this. So, this takes weapon plus time equals iron. So, I get some stuff back. Let's do a little bit of a test with, let's say, the bloodletter poniards and the bloodletter short so sword and this. I wonder if the shields work. Actually, I want to keep this one because it looks pretty cool. Flawless, flawless. That's a regular medium harness, medium tacit. Flawless, flawless, flawless. Flawless, flawless. I'm keeping this hood. I know it glitches out and looks really funky, but I don't care. Okay, there's all of that. Good deal. Hopefully, I get quite a bit of stuff back from this. Oh, it's it's going pretty quick. And it does the shield. Nice. And all of this. Boom. This is fantastic. Six. Uh, you know, honestly, I don't know what it takes to make those. Let's take a look really quick. 
nine. They give me three for the shield. Maybe it just gives me a little bit. I mean, that makes sense, right? So that takes 20. So, ah, that's not a great conversion rate, but you know what? If I'm just picking stuff up from the world... Oh, it's giving me weather from the... Okay. I mean, I don't really need the weather. It's a little bit of waste of steel, if you ask me. <laughs> Let's see what some of the flawless does. That's flawless. I wonder if those give me a better rate. It might. But then again, I'd have to test every individual piece. I'd have to do like a flawless helmet and a, and a regular helmet of the same crafting stuff and see if that actually did it. But, you know, it's okay. It, it, it's worth the experiment. Like I said, I've still got 400 steel bars, so that's not huge. It's not the worst thing in the world. I've also got this box set up over here. I've been making plenty of aloe extract, and like I was mentioning before, I've got some healing arrows. I need to make a better bow, but in order to do so... I have to get some thick hide. So let's go ahead and place down this lesser wheel of pain. We'll put the tor torturer's workbench down and I'll be right back. So I might've gone slightly overboard here with the foundations and the fences around it and all that stuff, but I could have done way more. <laughs> and you guys know that. So I decided not to right now. That's not the important thing. This is not a building episode, dang it. Every single time I try and not make a building episode, I end up wanting to build something because I just don't like placing it on the ground. Either way, I couldn't deal with the grass sticking up through this thing. So, I went ahead and did this foundation thing. I'm not worried about decorating this or making it look super amazing or tying in the roof line over here all the way over here and making like a little awning and stuff. I'm not worried about that right now. This isn't my final base. I probably will spruce it up just a little bit because I'd hate for somebody to run over here and be like, what the heck is that god-awful looking base? Yeah, I can't live with myself like that. So I'll probably do that off camera. We're at the end of the episode. I'm not really sure, but either way, let's go ahead and try and find a thrall. I need to grab these rawhide bindings. I'll grab two of them and I'll grab both these truncheons. Now, I know a lot of you guys are saying, but Mace, why don't you build the Wheel of Pain instead of the Lesser Wheel of Pain? Well, you know what? It's because of sizing. <laughs> Everything around here, this is like a starter base area. I don't want to have this giant Wheel of Pain that's like four times as big as this thing just sitting right here in the middle of the nowhere in the Oasis. It's not like the thralls are that good. I'd be like the laughing stock of the server. So even if I have to make more than one of these, it's fine. Or even if I have to wait a little bit of time, I don't care. I've got a little bit, so I don't care. <laughs> That's what I'm sticking with for right now. Let's grab Charlie. I don't know what this is going to be like with a mount, though. So that might get a little bit interesting. I know there's some thralls usually back this way that I've seen a couple that are pretty good. Let's go ahead and put the rawhide bindings on my hotbar. Actually... You know what? Before I do that, Charlie, stay here. Uh, stop following me. I need to see if I can get some reinforcements on these uh, on these items. So uh, that's gonna take some steel, because I'm gonna try and do the good stuff. So that's gonna take twenty. Well, let's just do twenty for right now, because that's gonna be two of them. We'll go down here. We'll go ahead and make the reinforcement kit. We'll do two, and see if that's helpful. Or if I can even attach it to these. I know I couldn't... I used to be able to with the torch. But for whatever reason, I'm not able to anymore. So they must have changed that, unfortunately. I really enjoyed that. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, well, at the end of the day, I still have two reinforcements kits that I just made. So it's not like it's that big of a deal. Actually, ooh, there's a couple things that I could use it for, though. Like weapon damage. That would be nice. This is 33 right now. I don't know. Ooh. Then that's not the best. So I'll probably wait until I can get the best tier of the weapon damage. I'm getting distracted. Let's let's go try and find some thralls. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. I'm glad I made two. All right, Charlie. Let's do this. Come on, thralls. What you at? What are you? Hyborian Exile 1. Get the heck out of here. You and your whatever the heck that is. Ooh, silver. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. What are you? Exile. Oh, smelter too. Heck yes. Uh, Charlie. Let's let's leave them over here. Charlie, stop following me. Stop following me. No. Oh crap. Okay. 
I don't I don't want Charlie to kill him. Charlie, no! Charlie! No! No, 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 no. Stand guard over there. You come here. Charlie, no. Don't do it. I'm gonna go ahead and knock Taste you out. Death. Oh, Charlie almost killed her. <laughs> almost knocked out. One more hit. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and kill you. Okay, that could have gone better. Um, I didn't think about Charlie at all, but I'm glad he stayed over there. So, unconscious. Let's do five. Grab you. Yes! Now, can I ride the horse? Oh, dang it. Okay, well, at least I know. I'm glad I wasn't, like, all the way over next to Sepimaru <laughs> and tried to run all the way back with Charlie. Well, I guess, I mean, it's not that bad. And Charlie will protect me, I guess, which is good. So, either way, we've got our first thrall. I am curious to see how long this is going to take to craft up. I've got plenty of food. There is a named fighter right there. Ugh. And I also know there's one in the Darfari camp. Now, I don't know what kind of level difference there is between the named people. If there is one at all. I know there obviously is a top... Up top. Wow, I can't think today. <laughs> up near the volcano and stuff and in, in special areas, they have better thralls. I know that. But I'm just not really sure exactly how well that's going to work out and like what the level difference is between all of those. So I'll have to do a little bit of research and see. Probably just by trial and error, because let's be honest, I'm probably not going to look it up, which is fine. Can I not swim with thralls anymore? Oh, I can't. Good, 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 good. That used to not be a thing, briefly. It was a thing, and then it wasn't a thing, and then it was a thing again. So that's good. I don't know if that's part of the mod or the base game or whatever, but I don't care, because right now, we've got our first smelter. Yeah. So, obviously, I don't have the, uh, what is it, the torture? No, it's not the torture. Oh, my God. Thrallmaster? No. Why can't I think of the name? Anyways, I don't have a chief thrall here, so <laughs> let's get some food in here, which wouldn't be too big of a deal. I think I've got quite a bit of it still stacked up, um, and I'm pretty sure it's only one at a time. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. We'll look at it. <laughs> now that I think about it, I'm not 100% confident that that's actually accurate anymore uh i had some food in here so let's just craft up some food but you know what guys let me go ahead and craft up some food get that in there see how long it's approximately going to take and then i might either build another one of these and place it down or do something like that so i will be right back taskmaster that's what i was looking for yeah we don't have any taskmasters down here at least that that i know of there might be some in the exile cave matter of fact but i think they're only level one but anyways, as you can see, I had a little bit of spare time since this was taking so long. So I just did a little bit of something, something. You know what I mean? Just just a little something, something. I wanted to make sure that it looked uh, pretty close to what we had done before, which I'm pretty sure... What are these? Are these actually the fences? Yeah, that's the fence. I did the half wall here. I think the fence would actually look a lot better. Now that I think about it, it would be the same height. So that means these would stick up a little bit. Because I feel like that's, uh, it's uncapped. I don't know why I didn't check that before, but that's, well, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's really kind of, um, rustic here in the Oasis space. <laughs> Either way, we got the high, high cranian. I think I said, I don't know what I said earlier, but I, I think I said something other than high cranian smelter level two. So let's go ahead and move this bad boy over into here. Get him set up at a nice little station. Oh, yes. I'm so excited. Ah, this is going to be good. This is going to be really good. I'm not going to have any room. Well, I guess I do clip right through him, but I need to remember this for the base. Or for the future base that uh, putting two back to back with two different foundations, they're going to be like inside of each other, which is not necessarily ideal in this situation. So let's go ahead and move some of this over. Get him up and roll in. Um... Let's actually, you know what? Let's try, let's test them. Let's see how efficient it is. Let's look at the raw data. So if we move 200 over, okay, we'll go ahead and take that four. We've got 220 steel fire. He can make 40, okay, as opposed to 200 steel fire. Wait, 
Wait. Wait. I, I messed that up. Stop. <laughs> okay. How many iron did I have in here? 200. Was that what it was? So, let's take 197 away. 200, 200, 40. Wait, is that the same thing? Is it just a speed? And then the tier 3 or the named actually gives you more bang for your buck? Oh, it's definitely speed. Holy crap, that is so much faster. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Uh, we need to move that over. We need to move that over. We'll go ahead and take that and pop that in there we can make 70 Ooh, yes i'm really enjoying this i am glad that i've got some better rolls or eighth roll that's better he's got a nice little haircut too and some mittens which are in his chest okay anyways so something else that i went ahead and did while i was waiting for the hycranian smelter tier two is uh i finished off this little area over here there i noticed it was super super dark at night nothing important sumerian Brazier, brazier, I mean. Brazier, yep. And then back here, you can kind of see that it's clipping through the back, which was undesirable. I didn't realize it was going to do that. These are not the decorations. These are the actual planters. So there's the crude planter, which does it slower. And then you have these regular planters. And I think there's an improved planter is the third tier. But we're not doing that yet. I don't even have it unlocked. So I had 196 compost already crafted up which is fantastic and i went ahead and i had 80 yeah about 81 aloe seeds so i went ahead and put these in here i've already got 50 aloe so realistically i think it was like i think it was only 10 seeds per yeah because there's eight of these so 10 in each and then one had 11 so i was able to get 50 from that i had and i burned 10 compost apiece because i say that since I had 100, 196 divided by 8, there's 24 in 7 of these and 25 in the 8th one of the compost. So, it's it's okay. I mean, I've got quite a bit of aloe that I've gathered. Is it technically faster for me to go grab it out in the wild? Technically, yes, with the steel sickle. But at the end of the day, at least I'll have always something here at the base and I can use the compost and plus, I've got some planters now, so if I want to swatch, sw if I want to, words are hard. If I want to switch it out for another more important plant later on, I can already do that, and I can actually pick these planters up, which is pretty good. So, now that we've done that, we need to go grab a named thrall, one that's probably over here. I could grab the one that's in the Darfari camp, but this that one doesn't ever come with any armor. So let's go ahead and grab this one over here that I know has at least medium. Obviously, I can change the armor out, but I feel like maybe this one might be a little bit of a better thrall overall. I don't know. Let's take a look. There you are. Ooh, it's a lady. She's got a big old sword, too. Okay, all right. Don't die from that crocodile. I mean, if you die from a crocodile, I don't know if I want you in my army. Is that just a stone sword? It is. Ah, Anna the Reaver. Okay, how can I effectively kill this croc? I guess use my bow. No amp. Oh, did I not grab the arrows? Oh, no. Oh, she got it. Okay, cool. Anna, taking you home. <gasps> no! I might kill her! Oh no! No, 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 no! She is really tall, too! <laughs> um, can you maybe heal up, please? So I can knock you out? It's not gonna do me any good if you're dead. Also, if that croc almost kills you, I don't know if I want you. Like, that kind of makes you a terrible thrall. Oh, she's healing up quick! Okay. Die. All right, that's cool. Maybe I should probably use my shield. There we go. Take death. Curse you. Okay, well, Anna, um, you know, I hate to break it to you, but I guess if you can't even deal with that, I don't want you in my army. <laughs> that was awful. Uh, you know, I, I guess I could always go to Supimaru. 
mean, it's only, it's like right in here. That would be a pretty good spot to, I, as a matter of fact, I know that'd be a really good spot to grab those. And that's, plus that's by the Rhino. Um, so I guess what I could do, I would have to run all the way back, which would be interesting through the Darfari camp. But if I tie my stamina right, I would be able to do it because I can't drag a thrall with Charlie. Or I could technically just take a lesser wheel of pain, place it out there, then pick it up when I'm done. I might do that to see if I can get a at least a tier three. I don't know. There's so many possibilities. Plus, I need to get some thick hide. Ah, there's so much to do in today's episode and so little time to do it. I really didn't want to break it up between two different episodes, but I might just have to. I don't know. We'll see. I'm checking out this Starfari camp to see if there's anything just sticking out. Right now, it's only been level one, tier one, tier two, and one tier three fighter. Oh, okay. This, this thing is stupid. <laughs> wow. Even if you were a high level thrall, I wouldn't really want you. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take these arrows because I forgot to grab them back at the base. Archer. Anything important? We're good. JB fighter. Archer three. Tater two. Ooh, ooh, that might actually be a good one. Can I lead the Tanner? Okay. <laughs> Come, Shadow. You know what? I'm just gonna knock you all out. How about that? Okay, that's cool. Come on, get knocked out. Kind of go back this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Dude, you do not need to die. I also don't need to die either. Just heal up a little bit. Oh, he's out. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Seriously? Could you stop hitting me? This is such a terrible camera angle. Good God, man. Bobbing and weaving. Okay, there we go. Jeez. I don't know where he's running to, but... Okay. <laughs> Great comes to us. Alright, now we're talking. Got the Tanner Tier 2 in the Lesser Wheel of Pain, ready to join the Mace Army, or getting ready to join the Mace Army, I should say. I'm excited to get a Tanner. I mean, it's going to help with the speed, at the very least, of trying to get some tar so I can make some more steel fire, and all those things. I'm kind of running out of my limits of what kind of thralls I can get down here. Like I said in the beginning of the episode, there's a couple of carpenters that I've seen and stuff like that. I think I'm going to go ahead and pass on that named thrall in the Darfari camp, though. If I was killing a couple of them just with the Trunjan, I don't know if that's going to be a good thrall for me. And that, being so close to Sepimaru, I think that's my best option. So I'm probably going to do that in the next episode, see if I can get some better thralls. Hopefully, I'll be able to do that before the dungeon. If not, that's okay. I don't even know if we're bringing thralls. So, that'll be a nice little exciting adventure that I'm really looking forward to. I, however, need to go grab some thick hides. So, let me go ahead and get prepared, grab some gear to be able to take on the rhino. I'm going to go all out. I'm bringing a bed. I'm bringing all that stuff because I know they are a little difficult. And I am technically, like, mid-tier. And I don't have any heavy armor, although this armor is pretty good. For only being medium so let me grab that stuff head over that way and i'll be right back i see my first victim over yonder and i am finally testing out the lance Ooh, this is going to be exciting okay let's do this charlie hello rhino meet your maker oh god was that good was that a good hit oh not really uh let's let's just try this out though curious to see i hope charlie doesn't get hurt i'm gonna be super upset if he does yes i feel like a matador <laughs> kind of oh no oh no okay oh oh no not the tree Woo. 
Oh, oh boy. How's my Lance doing? Is my Lance doing all right? Oh, this is a beautiful sunset. Okay, stamina back up. Yes! Almost half health. This is working out so much better. I remember these guys being extremely difficult at this level. Well, for me anyways. <laughs> I guess they're, they're not that bad, but... I could always hit it with a bow, but I like to get right up in there. Yes! How we doing? Almost half. It's just like the perfect little pit for this, too. It is getting close to nighttime, though. So I gotta be careful. Let's get Charlie's stamina back up. Now that it's not aggroed on me. Hopefully it doesn't heal too much. Okay, here we go. Can't catch me. Can't catch me. Boom! Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Come on. I wonder if I have to be full speed for it to be the most efficient. Probably. I mean, that would make sense, right? Oh, he just ran straight into that one. Haha, <laughs> easy. This Lance thing is awesome. All right, Charlie. It's time to do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Not right now. Am I stuck? Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> what the heck was that? Yes. Yes. Oh, four. That was insane. Good job, Charlie. <laughs> Oh my god, we gotta try and find that body. That was the whole point. And it's nighttime. Oh, this is not great. Uh, it could be could be better. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. It's not that far. That thing got launched. Okay. Uh, no, wait. Seriously? Oh, no. Uh, oh my god. Is it back where the body should be? That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, there it is. Oh. Oh. You know, I was I was thinking it was a little strange if the body was going to actually fly all the way over there. That's insane. All right, let's get this out. Let's go ahead and swap out with the skinny knife. Uh, for that, I didn't even need those, which is amazing. Thick hide. How much did I get? Like 30? 33. That's not bad. And I got some exotic flesh. Oh, that is so good. I'm going to need to do this for a little bit. Farm some of these up. I know there's a, a couple of them. Wow, excuse me. And I'm pretty sure there's the black rhino over here too. So let me go ahead and wait till it's daytime. Let me go ahead and kill a couple of these guys. And I'll be right back. So I finally figured out a method to the madness. I actually like doing this better than what I was doing before with the lance. The lance I had to move around way too much. This is so much easier. And I guess Charlie gets hurt a little bit, but not a whole lot at all. This is so much better than before. <laughs> Look at that. Heavy attack. Heavy attack. Chop. Chop. Oh, my God. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> Let me just harvest this one first, because this is the one that I just killed. I'm going to grab the other one, and that's going to be all of the rhino hunting that I'm going to be doing today. I've got quite a bit of it. We'll take a look at the totals in just a second. Hopefully by this time, the tanner will be... Okay. <laughs> what? Um. Huh. Interesting. Okay, let's just see if it stays here. Can I get one more, please? Yes, I can. Ah, that's fantastic. Okay, let's look at the totals here. But hopefully the tanner tier 2 should be done by the time we get back. I've got... 80 exotic flesh, 9 horns, 297 rhino hide, 303 thick hide. I killed a couple of scorpions, the big guys, 135 chitin, 168 hide. There was a couple of the large goat kings. I don't know. That's what John calls them anyway. So that's what I'm sticking with, the goat king. So I've been killing a couple of those as well. That's where the regular hide came from. That's not half bad in all actuality. 
let's see how well the tanner does hopefully like i was saying it'll be done by the time we get back to the base but i just want to give you guys a little bit of an update as to seeing where some rhinos are down in the oasis this is uh this is definitely a good spot to come back to what you working on there bud i feel like those mittens aren't really going to help you be very efficient but hey whatever works anyways i went ahead and put the thick hide over here i put the rhino hide over here and i know i that I can go ahead and make this into strip hide. But I am curious. This takes two. And this, how many thick hide does this actually give me? I don't remember what's, what's more efficient. So two of those equals three of those. Okay. All right. And then we have 300 of this. So now that we have the tanner in here, let's see how many I get. Uh, I can craft 302. That's fantastic. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. Right? Yes. It's a one-to-one. -one. Oh, Yes. That's fantastic. I'm going to have 300 thick leather after this. So good. Plus, uh, I'm not really sure exactly what the rhino hide is used for. I know it used to be used for certain things. Let's see. Heavy. Okay. I think that might be like the exceptional and flawless. I think that's what I was, what you need the specialty leather for. But for right now, I don't need to worry about any of that stuff. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just like separate, I don't know, like 50. I'll separate 50 of this and then the rest of this will go ahead and turn into regular thick hide probably that should be good and i can always go back it's not a big deal but i finally have all the elements to be able to make some heavy armor ah i feel pretty good about this we've got two thralls two thralls that are going to help us be able to craft up some stuff a lot better we've got a tanner that's going to help me get some heavy armor We've got a horse that's amazing. <laughs> I mean, I feel like he's pretty good right now. I think he's level 12. The next level, next time he gets another perk is level 15. So that's coming up pretty quickly. I'm pretty much using him for everything. Uh, but yeah, I feel pretty accomplished. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty ready to go back into Supimaru. Or I guess go to Supimaru. I feel like I was in there because I was there, but I really wasn't. Uh, either way, I'm going to go ahead and call this the end of the episode, guys. I'm excited to check out these dungeons. I'm really excited to check out Supimaru. Like I was saying earlier, I know there are some special things in there with the immersive mod that we've got going on. So, I will do that in the next episode. But anyways, if you like what you saw and you want to see more of it, be sure to hit that like button. Drop some comments down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.